na mapagpanuhan namin kung bakit po nangyari ang ganong bahay na talaga mag-uri na nagkakaroon ng ganon o kayo na po ang magsabi kung ano po ang kailangan namin ba lang lahat? Okay, uh, I think what your question is, uh, sorry, Tagalog na lang, no? so tingin ko yung tanong ninyo is tungkol dun sa nagkaalagasan ng mga pananas, yung nawawala ng mga subscribers. Um, the word subscriber, subscriber, just to be clear, okay lang yan mabanggit sa live stream. If you're encouraging people to be a subscriber, okay lang yan. Hindi nyo yan kailangan itagas, itago sa firm na banana sucking or whatsoever. Tell your audience to subscribe, it's okay. Tell your uh, audience to subscribe to other viewers, it's okay. If you're using the word subscriber, it's okay. Um, yun yung pinaka-safest way to let the system or even people like us who's doing the review na you're just encouraging people to grow their network. Nothing in between, no, uh, no hesitation, no gray areas, just a straight up statement that you're just encouraging people to grow. Now, yung, kung ang tanong nyo ay bakit nalalagasan, uh, I think this is where the ninja term comes in. Kasi um, every month, hindi siya quarterly, hindi siya yearly, but literally every month, may dedicated team and I'm part of that team who is uh, focusing on making sure na legit ang mga subscribers. Kasi if everyone's allowed to encourage people to be a subscriber or so, We're, we're okay with that as long as legit yung subscribers na nakatikit sa inyo. And by legit, we're talking about ninjas. Ninjas na newly created, walang video, walang ibang sinusundan. And it's just for spamming. And our system is already designed to filter both ninjas and dormant accounts. So you may even ask, um, Zeddy, what's dormant account? Ito yung mga sabihin na natin noon pang created account. Hinog na kung hinog. Um, marami nang nasubscribean, marami nang napanood na video, but suddenly it, it stopped functioning. Wala itong kahit anong activity, wala itong uploads, wala itong views, itong likes na ginawa for at least a couple of months or so. And it will be red flag as doorman. And sadly, if it's gonna be red flag as doorman, kahit anong isubscribe nyo, it won't be counted. It can look like uh, subscribe ka, let's say, ako ninja ako. Uh, my channel will be subscribed to, let's say, Pinoy Angels. I'm subscribed to Pinoy Angels, but on our system, it won't be counted as a subscribe channel. So, ganun siya mangyayari. Uh, ganun na lalagas in general ang mga subscribers or bananas natin. So, the way you print it is to make sure that you're watching an actual video. If possible, the whole duration of a video, you need to hit like, notification bell, and there's gonna be no reason for it to die. What will, what will be your advice po, set for those who are doing the paangat program? What is... Uh, uh, okay, straight up answer. Hindi siya fake news. straight up answer. is already in the Yeah, making friends is okay. Um, let's grow your channel. And this is gonna be one of my titles or my tags in the future how to grow your channel with friends. That's a common, commonly used uh, title for other paangat programs, so to speak. So that's something that you guys can use, play around with it. Um, I saw some other channels na gumagamit na ibang terminology. Let me uh, shout out with Rain Bell. She's using a different terminology. Uh, when, when they're already subscribed or newly subscribed to a channel, they're using other terminologies. Let's not overthink, overthink things like yung banana sticket is the, it's okay to use that, but as long as you keep it simple, keep it smart, keep it easily understandable by the system and people reviewing it, hindi naman siya kailangan sobrang iiwas eh. Yun ang totoo, if you're gonna use the word subscribe, just use the word subscribe. Ayan, yeah, yeah, sabi, sabi, sabi ko makinig sila, sabi ko, parang hindi ba, ayaw mo niyo ba, talagang legit na nag-work siya sa YouTube. Sabi ko, ako siguro mapapatunayan ko yun kasi marami, marami akong ano yung parang kulit na na information na natin na siya lang ang nakakaalam na sabi niya sa amin. Kaya ako talagang sobrang ano, talagang 1,000% kung paniniwala ko na. Hindi naman niya kailangan i-prove. Actually, hindi niya ito kailangan gawin. Kaya ginagawa niya ito dahil parang naging nagkaroon na ng ano, ng friendship ng, 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 sa amin, group chat. Kaya ayun, at isa rin itong way para mabigyan niya kayo ng tamang information. 
two reason. Una, uh, I can be patriotic and say I want to help my fellow people, uh, fellow Filipinos. I can be patriotic in saying that. But I can simply say na gusto ko lang bawasan yung trabaho din namin. Imagine this. I'm already tired of terminating Filipino channels. Okay. Oh my God! Marami niya. That's a regular routine for me. Wow. Yung mga nag apply ng... Um, <laughs> Napakarami kong inapprovan when it comes to uh, membership, yung mga nag-discuss, yung mga Sarah, Joey Bolon. Nakisama po si Sarah, si Arlene. Uh, <laughs> so, ang dami namin, ang dami namin tinulungan ma-approve yun, kahit hindi naman dapat. Obviously, hindi naman namin yung requirements, pero ina-approve namin. Yung mga monetization issues na ang daming issues at the back end. Ang dami na natin friends from Pinoy Angels Group and the uh, JMs Group na, alam nyo yun, may mga minor issues that may prevent them to get monetized. But we're already resolving that prior to the issue happening. Uh, may mga borderline na muntik na nag-apply na ng monetization. Uh, alam ni JM to, may borderline na nag-apply siya ng monetization knowing na may issue. It's about to get uh, declined. Pero nagawan pa natin ang paraan about it. And ang pinaka-main goal ko dito is, again, I, I have the knowledge and YouTube, Google, is not preventing us to create our own channel. Hindi nila kami pinipigilan to share our own knowledge. Actually, marami ako katulad na channel in the US, even in India, um, which is yung, yung new channel ko, with, uh, can I drop the name? It's Expert Content Creator. Um, ang gagawin kong content sa channel na yon is me looking at an actual channel. Let's say you're one of my viewers. Uh, you can, you, I will select one of my viewers' channel. Yeah, highlight natin siya, sisilipin natin in, uh, in a general point of view, from thumbnails to banners to type of contents to titling to tags, descriptions on how we can improve that in terms of you growing your channel. So that's gonna be my content in Expert Content Creator. And uh, dahil nandun ako, uh, I just wanna give a huge shout out to the host and of course to JM because I'll be using this live stream for, for the winner. I will give one exclusive no. partner manager support. And I will be the exclusive partner manager support to wow. the winner that I'll be selecting dito sa viewers ng channel na to oh, ng, 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 and by exclusive we're talking about a level of support na not even JM or Pinoy Angels group already experienced from us so if you're the, one of the person who's doubting if I'm legit watch this video till the end and probably you'll be one of the winners and you'll know how much uh, we can give out as a reward if you're a viewer. Oh. Grabe. 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 Got it, got it. Uh, the Paangat term itself was red flag as it was associated to the term itself called sub for sub. Sub for sub is literally uh, illegal. So um, if you're gonna incorporate the word Paangat to sub for sub, technically, para mo na rin sinabi kagad kay system na sa title mo pa lang, huli ka na. But if you're gonna play safe, uh, even with the, with the how do I say this? In Tagalog, yung search and discovery na, na ginagamit ng system, kung paano nire-recommend, kung paano sinasuggest yung video nyo sa unsubscribed viewers, is ang ginagamit, thumbnails, titles, descriptions, and pinaka-importante, tags. Please note, tags. So kung sa title pa lang, sasablay ka na, and it's already a red flag saying na paangat is equals to sub for sub, you're already telling us na may mali sa type of content that you're creating. It can be a borderline crossing the guidelines or probably isang paamo nandun na kagad sa hukay. In, oh. in, you know, terminology speaking. Pero um, as much as possible... If you wanna test
test your boundaries. I'm not stopping you guys to do it. Please feel free to give it a try. But uh, as a reminder, my best advice is if you will lose your monetization by just testing the waters or trying your own limit, you're going to have 30 days before you can reapply. And that's going to be a headache for you. So um, knowing what's right and wrong is already enough para hindi mo na siya gawin. Pero if you want to try it, feel free. And I'll be glad to share what yung, else yung is going to happen. Yung LMLS was set kasi di ba, ano mo rin yun? Thank you, Yan. Nabagit ko na to like two to three months ago with uh, both group chats na nasalihan ko. Uh, Silent LS is already, well, we, we created a dedicated team who will review live streams uh, to be specific for the Philippines. Now, Silent LS, not as a title, is uh, gonna red flag people. Pero yung 12 hours ka na naka live stream, tapos below 5 ang viewers mo. No audio, no video. Um, don't expect na yung watch hours niya will be legit. Uh, I-expect mo na malalagasan ka ng watch hours after 3 days. <laughs> si, ano, si Kate Olano, alam mo na ngayon, Kate Olano, why? Yan, uh, the question po from Diego Khalil Rivera. Ano po ba yung mga sinasabi ng iba na magpapapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpap
correct. This is why I'm always encouraging people to uh, create their own content. Okay, uh, Paangat Program probably is the best or the fastest way to cross the 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 uh, watch hours. But once you cross that boundary, don't expect na yung play all play all natin ay kakagat pa yan. Hindi na, hindi na siya ganun ka-generous magbigay ng numbers sa atin. And uh, it, it will still be best to create your own content. Kasi in the long run, if you're gonna have your own content, you will have more viewers na hindi mo kailangan mag-exert ng effort and have this kind of lengthy live stream. Or in the end, you will have a live stream for your own legit viewers na, let's say, totoong nag enjoy sa value ng videos na kinecreate. Um, that's that's also the the advice that I can give para do sa mga nagsisimula. Um, sa future live stream ni expert content creator, I will even drop um, free um, paid of uh, antaw nito video creating softwares like yung uh, Kinemaster. Wow. May nagtanong sa akin ito sa GC ni Pinoy Angel dahil may mga watermark daw yung kanila. I can give out my own free version of that. Well, free in a sense because you, you're not gonna pay for it but it's a paid version by me. And wow. wala, siyang, wala siyang watermark to avoid copywriting contents or, you know, having a watermark by, by someone else's brand. Yung mga ganong klaseng bagay. Um, anything else that might be tackled I'd be happy to answer that in, in the uh, Alam niyo po si Boss um, Ethan Ong saka si Cindy King ay isa siya po ay nasa group chat po nung nakita ko nagpa-member siya sa akin grabe halos lumuhot ako halos lumuha ako kasi yung mga naging uh, nag-member ko rin ay nakikita at nakakapagtanong doon sa group chat mo at nakilala ko si Sir Cindy King or Ethan Ong sa group chat din ni Pinoy Angels, nandun po siya. So, thank you very much, Pinoy Angels, kasi, kasi in-introduce mo ako kay Sir Zedek or Sir Ethan Ong. So, please, can you guys, um, mag-ingay pa mo sa sinasabi niya, and then, I think, magkakaroon pa tayo ng another last question. Totoo po ba na mapapawasan ka ng watch hour after ng one year ng mag-vlog, pero hindi mo nare-reach ang 1A stop and 4,000 WH mo? Alright, this is a common question. Uh, alam natin na yung 365 days, or rather, to be specific, yung ika-12 month duration ng channel mo um, when it was created, or basta 12 month rotation, para ko ba tatagalugin to? Yung uh, 12 month period, uh, yun, ika, basta yung labing dalawang buwan na nagsimula ka mag-live stream or gumawa ka ng content mo, uh, it counts from 1 to 4,000. So, pag hindi mo siya na-reach from 4,000, hindi naman siya literal na babalik sa zero. Ang mabubura lang is yung ika-first ika month mo, so it will be from your 12, uh, from your second to 13th month. Ganun lang yung nangyayari siya. Retroactive siya. So, let's say, meron kang 100 watch hours from your first month, tapos meron ka ng 1,000 watch hours from your second to 12 months, so hindi ka umabot. So, meron ka pa rin 900 uh, watch hours from your second to 12 months kasi ang mawawala lang yung first 100 watch hours mo which is yung first month lang hindi siya literal na mazizero out ka retroactive siya so it's o kailangan doblehin na natin ang show kasi one year na ako since nag ano nag so yun po inuulit ko lang po yan po yung sinabi ni Sir Seti King na yung yung first month lang na ano ang hindi makakaw dun sa 12 months po Correct. Gapang siya. So, kung hindi mo na, okay, tapos sa following month, hindi mo ba rin siya na-reach. So, yung ika-second month mo, mawala ulit siya. Pero from 3rd to 14th month mo na siya. Ganun na yung mga yayari siya. Retroactive. Okay, yeah, magpa-member na kayo kay Madam Joanna. Kung may mga tanong pa kayo. Nandiyan si, ano, nandiyan si Sir Seth. Nandiyan si Sir Seth. Tsaka sa aking uh, group chat na doon siya. Oto na hindi siya lagi active. Pero make sure na pag tinag yung pangalan niya ay uh, talaga sinasagot niya. Pero hindi okay. din po ang mga questions. Kasi may mga questions na sobra na yung parang magkutos na kay Sir Seti. Kaya ako yung nangyayiya para sa akin nila. So, so ang busy kasi ni Boss Seti. Pag uh, sumagot na siya, abangan niya na. Itanong niya na itatanong. Talaga. Pag, pag nakakumulay na siya, yung pinatagtag na namin siya ng ano. Meron pong pinatanong si Pag Nandaya. Ako... Uh, kailangan pala talaga mag-LS ulit tayo kasi hindi talaga sila umalis so dahil nandiyan si Sir Ethan Hong. <laughs> yun lang, yun lang pag hindi mag <laughs> Actually, magkakaroon po siya ng ano yung pin, um, expert uh, content creator na, na channel. Yun po ang kanyang magiging topics po, ganito. Kaya punta niyo po yung kanyang page na, uh, yung kanyang white is name. Mayroon po nagtatanong Sir, Sir Ethan o okay. Sir Seddy, paano po ba mag-aaroon ng digital engineer? Um, well, paano maging legit as ang 
ninja, una sa lahat yung lalagyan ng ninja sa dulo, yung pangalan. Ang dami ko nakitang channel na ganyan, yung parang uh, Joanna JM Ninja, ganun yung pangalan nila. Um, ob <laughs> obvious na obvious siya sa kapwa natin Pilipino, but not, uh, not on the system, to be honest with you. Paano magiging legit? Uh, subscribe to channels na may pare-parehas na content. Dito naging mahirap yung paangat kasi ang tanging magiging common videos lang ng isang paangat program is kapwa mo paangat program. So, um, how do I put this? If your ninja channel is only subscribed to paangat program channels, tapos wala kang ibang pinapanood, let's say, si Kong TV, um, ABS-CBN, Kapamilya Channel, GMA7, Kapamilya Channel, and you're not literally spending time to watch their video, you're just subscribed to them, Uh, let's say, nag-subscribe ka sa akin and you only watched one of my 67-ish video or so, um, that can be flagged as a ninja. Kasi it, it, doesn't, it doesn't count specifically as a subscriber if you have the effort to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and never watch any of my video again after you subscribe. If you get what I'm trying to say. So, doon, doon pa lang, given na agad na, uh, okay, borderline ninja to, hindi tayo sure kung legit to. Pangalawa, uh, kung hindi ka talo ng talon and spamming um, someone else's link to other channels, uh, sometimes, nag-create talaga ng ninja para lang i-alay, tagapato ng link sa mga uh, live stream ng ibang channel, alay channels na yung mga yun, or alay ninja accounts na yung mga yun. Hayaan na masunog yung mga ninja channels na yun. But don't expect na pag ginamit nyo yung ninja, ninja account na yun, pang PG or pang play all, don't expect na yung watch hours na ma-generate nun will be legit. Automatically, flag yun kasi you're just recently subscribed and it, it is obviously created for that purpose. One more tip when it comes to play all. Sorry, ba't ako na to? Kasi lagi rin to natatanong. One more tip when it comes to play all or I, I know some of you guys are doing um, playlist playing uh, schemes. Uh, as much as possible, bantayan nyo and don't exceed 12 hours. Realistically speaking, don't uh, exceed 12 hours, guys. Yes po. Kasi realistically speaking, walang matinong tao mag-YouTube at manonood ng more than 12 hours. So, uh, nagpapakalogical lang din na mga taong nagre-review nito if there's a if there's a live stream or a playlist or kung naka-play all man, ang isang channel na nanonood sa naka-play all na to na more than 12 hours, it is pretty obvious that it's just playing the system. So, yun kagad given na kagad sa amin yun. Yeah. Ibalik ko lang kung ano, wait lang. Yung... Kapag sa ninja, meron kasi sinasabi nila, legit daw yung ninja kasi may video, may subscribers. So, mali yung thinking na yun. Gaya nga sabi ni Bosset, makakala nyo kung makagat yung subs no. Still, hindi pa rin siya legit ninja. Dapat pinapapasuran natin. Oo, sa point of view mo, sa point of view mo, kung ikaw yung may-ari ng ninja, pag binuksan mo yung ninja account, let's say, nakadikit ka kay uh, JM, kay Madam Gigil, kay uh, Wade, kay Pinoy Angel, may kita mo na nakasub ka naman talaga sa kanila. The thing is, on our system, hindi namin kinaccount yung sub mo sa kanila. So, ganun, ganun, siya, ganun siya mangyayari. Unless ninja. you're watching their video. Huwag ang ninja. <laughs> correct. Huwag na yung mag-ninja. You can create. Uh, how, about, how about we have this mindset? Instead of creating 10 ninjas, why can't you just create 10 legit channels? And yung legit channels ay nanonood ng actual videos. Kasi kung nakadikit lang kayo, nag-upload ka, may picture ka, may banner ka, it doesn't count as a legit channel. It only counts as a channel, pero not a legitimate viewer of other channels. Ganun siya. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, ayan guys, i-expand oh, 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 oh. Ito lang, ano sir, ito sumasabi. So, titigil na daw ba sila mag-LS, tapos mag-focus na lang daw ba sa content? Kahit alam nilang wala daw pag-asa sa pag uh, content, paano lalaki daw ang revenue nila? Um, yung pag-LS, I'm not gonna say never, never, I'm not gonna say to Miguel mag-LS. LS is a good way to have live viewers, to connect with your viewers, grow your network, or probably have collaborations like this. This, uh, what, what we're doing right now is the biggest collaboration na inattendan ko. Uh, I have four big YouTubers here with me. So, I, I'm gonna say that this is a a big collaboration in, in terms of growing our networks. 
I will never say na, mag, na tumigil na mag-live stream. I'm gonna say na i-balance ang live streaming and pagkikreate ng contents. Kasi if, if you're really a vlogger, you're calling yourself as a vlogger. You can vlog whatever you want on a day-to-day -day basis. If, whatever your hobby is, whatever your hobby is, yun nga, kung ano yung kinahihiligan mo, uh, you can even create uh, ang tawag nito, commentary videos kung ano man yung mga napanood nyo recently. That's a legitimate content. It's still better to have a legitimate content than a live stream na silent. If, if you're gonna ask me, ano yung pinakamagandang type of content? First is original content. Second is live stream. And bottom siguro sa isang daang listahan ko is yung silent LS. I, I, I am personally not a fan of a silent LS because no one will watch a silent LS. Kaya kahit ano, aminin na natin to. Kung nasa mga GC ka and you're inviting people to join your silent LS, I'm sure it's gonna be less than 20 people. Kasi no one's gonna enjoy watching a live stream na wala namang video, wala namang sounds, walang kahit anong conversation. But if it's, if it's gonna be kwentuhan, like yung Team Wade Paris, napakaganda ng contents nila. I've you watched know? a lot of it recently. Oh, yung mga nag nagigess sila, nagigess sila ng mga successful YouTubers or yung mga newly monetized uh, YouTubers. That's a very good type of content. And it's a big collaboration both dun sa, ho sa host, sa guest, and for those people who's watching. So that's a very good type of content. Um, JN's content is all original. A very, very minimal time makikita ng Filipino vlogger on focusing on uh, beauty regimen and all. Diba? So uh, th those kind of contents are original and it's a skill-based content. Skill-based content meaning people will learn from you, but not everyone can do whatever you can do. So that's an expertise type of content or, you know, uh, I'm gonna say it's an expert content creation. Ganun siya mangyayari. Alright? So, um, entertainment. We're talking about Pinoy Angel and Madam Eagle. Their contents are pure entertainment. They can highlight people, okay. grow network, teach everyone to grow their own channel. Yan yung mga type of contents na sasabihin ko both uh, uploaded or live stream. It's still a good content. But again, this this type of content, you shouldn't stop by just having this kind of level of content. So, marami pa tayong nakikita dyan. Ang dami nating ang dami nating napanood na uh, musicians, singers, yung mga sila Nicky Dumag, sila Rain Bell, yung mga channels nila focusing on music. Uh, that's pure entertainment. Though, I want to give you guys uh, a heads up. If you're using other countries' music, please be careful to have, you know, claims or copyright claims on, on, their, on your contents. Yan yung, yan yung mga risk na probably uh, you may want to take. But if, you're, if you know what you're doing, if you're reading the rules and the guidelines, you should be okay. You should be safe. As long as you're playing fair, as long as you're using the term fair use policy, that's gonna be a topic in the long run. Pero as long as you're, you know what you're doing, you, you'll, be, you'll be okay and earn a lot of money. Kasi silip ko nga lang pala ng income nila rin. Congratulations, you're on 14 as the host of the live stream. Wow! Ang ano ko yun, medyo na lang medyo hindi na kasi hindi ko siya. Ang boss niya doon ako, October 9th. Alam na. Yung mga nag-request ng pin, alam nyo na. Konting tiis na lang. Did you know? Woohoohoo! Yeah! Okay, na may question mo na. Ah, okay. Meron kita. Last question. May question po muna ako kasi ano po eh. Ito po lagi nila ang sinasabi. Dahil ngayon po pahirapan ng jacket sa mga live streamers. Ayan. Um, ano po ba matapos po sinibigyan bibigyan po ba namin ng sila ng jacket o hindi at allow pa silang mag-drop ng bahay nila? Ano po ba ang dapat ng gagawin? Thank you, thank you for that. Um, generally speaking, pag nabigyan niyo ng jacket or if they are a moderator of your channel, they can basically do whatever you can do as the host of the live stream. Now, um, I have no specific number kung ilan ang pwede niyong bigyan ng jacket. Pero sa paangat, I know it's overused. Some moderators are overusing. Narinig ko na to kay mom and daughter and she's explaining it clearly. If you want to drop by to her uh, to her stream, okay din yan. Mom and daughter is also a good content creator. Yeah. Um, so, napanood ko to kay mom and daughter and siya mismo na-explain niya in a very, very nice way na if you're abusing your jacket and dropping links multiple times, 
not playing it with uh, the host or you're not strategically using your your capability to drop your own link there will be a time na ikaw mismo you will see na nakakapag-drop ka pa pero if you're gonna drop it to other channels um, kailangan pang i-approve yung comment mo kailangan pang i-approve yung yung uh, chat mo that is already an indication na you're abusing your capability and you're now being flagged as spam being flagged as spam is already one step closer to being recognized as illegitimate channel. Ganun na siya kagad. So, so as much as possible, ngayon po bilang mga host, uh, kung mag-live stream kayo in the future, I'm not saying huwag kayo magbigay ng jacket, but please provide jacket to those people who you can really, um, how do I say this, whom you can really treat as a moderator, or yeah, you can trust. Kasi, um, they can drop the links for you and for your audience. Hindi naman literal kailangan ganun siya na sila as the viewers can also drop the link. Huwag yung paulanin yung, uh, in a way, huwag yung paulanin yung lahat ng nasa group chat is blue. Yes, it's okay, but kind of borderline for, not for you, but for the audience. Sila yung medyo nanganganib if they don't know how to use it. May spamming pa rin naman kahit naka-jacket. Um, one more thing. Um, if you're using a, a better streaming application like uh, Streamlabs, uh, that's one of the commonly used application. Meron yung bot, meron siyang bot na pwedeng maglapag ng links in, in your behalf or in the viewer's behalf. Uh, that can prevent spamming. Hindi na kailangan mag-create ng Ninja Ally channel para lang may naglapag ng link. Um, I, I already saw this multiple times to other channels strateg strategically kung paano sila nagpapalista if they want to grow their channel. And si bot na mismo ang naglalapag ng channel para sa kanila or ng links nila para sa kanila. Um, Rainbell's uh, YouTube live stream is already doing that. Um, I forgot the other channels that I was looking at pero ganun na rin sila magpala, magpaangat ngayon. They're, they're using uh, live stream though it's gonna eat up some of your computer's memory, it's gonna eat up some of your computer's performance. Pero kung kaya ng computer ninyo, please feel free to use that kasi that's first user friendly, second safe for both host and the viewer. Um, just to correlate, any views generated from that watch hours rather any watch hours generated from that platform is at least 99.9 percent .9 uh, kakagat siya uh stream yard is a bit may konting tapon to um, we're still trying to figure out on our end kung bakit pero aaminin ko stream yard medyo may tapon ang watch hours na yun medyo mm -hmm. Tamang process ng subscription. Alright, so um, majority naman na nag, uh, may making friends through YouTube ay maglalapag ng link ng isang video. Sana video, hindi channel link mismo. Uh, kung huh? sana video, if it's a 2 minute video, make sure that you already cross at least 50% of it. So, wag naman sana 10 minutes yun nilapag para maubos yung 5 minutes. So, if it's a 2 minute video, make sure you cross 50% of it or 1 minute before you even hit like comment, and subscribe. Let's be realistic dito. Tulad, tulad to na napag-uusap-usapan sa ibang channel, nakapag-thumbs down na, nakapag-dislike na, or nakapag-like na without even watching the video yet. So, parehas lang siya. Yung nakapag-thumbs up bago mag-start yung premiere is okay para sa actual subscribers. Pero yung newly subscribe ka, tapos tumams up ka bago ka pa makanood ng actual video, that's very sketchy. Tapos hindi mo pinanood yung video kasi thumbs up done and then umalis ka. Don't expect na makakount siya. Makakount siya today but after 3 days lagas yan. Yeah, 90% chance lagas yan. Ayan, so, yeah. Ayan. Guys, I'm also just, uh, ikaw ko na ikaw yung sinabi ni Sir Ethan Ong dyan sa Sir Seti King na yung lahat ng ilalapag natin mamaya ng mga sponsor, please watch the video. Please watch the video muna. Yes. Please watch the video. Okay. Correct. So, so here's the strategy para hindi tayo mahirapan. Here's the strategy. Pag naglapag ng video, tap, uh, sana tapusin. Hopefully, it will be finished bago siya komentan, likean, at subscribean. And as much as possible, hit the no notification bell. Wala namang kabawasan sa channel natin if you hit notify. If you're gonna do that, and probably kung gusto mong lalong kumagat, if, if you're really helping this channel, drop to the next video na isasuggest about it, na video niya rin, 
you're literally telling the system na I'm not just watching this video, I'm also watching other videos created by this channel. Ganun namin siya ginagawa for other countries. Um, like the, the channels that I'm managing on India, in, in, in the US, yung mga channels na yun, we're not just watching one single video when we're doing this. We're watching at least two to three videos inside of that channel. Whatever length it would be, kahit mapa five minutes, six minutes man yan, because we're not rushing things. Ganito lang kasimple yung effort na kinakount namin. If you're gonna spend one and a half hour to two hours na nag-aantay ka for your, ter uh, for your turn bago ka mailapag, and then you're not doing your part, don't expect na maraming didikit sa'yo or probably magsistay after magsikita nila sa inyo. Malalagas at malalagas yan because we have digital karma, if that's the term that we can use. We have digital karma. If you're not doing your part, don't expect others to do theirs too. Sorry, pati ulit nga po na nag-chat ng content. Wala pong um super chat ang video o premier kapag may copyright claim. Thank you very much. Automatic pag ang video nyo may copyright claim or ang live stream, live stream nyo may copyright claim. Technically, may yellow flag siya. Yellow uh, dollar icon. I think that that's the right term to use. And yellow dollar icon will automatically means na it's gonna be limited to no ads. Limited to no ads means monetization is turned off for that video only. Dahil naka-off siya temporarily unless proven na yung claim is not valid. Pag na-dispute siya or pag na-remove yung claim, unless proven na yung video is uh, not supposed to be claimed, that's the only time na gagana ulit yung super chat sa video na yun. Sadly, if it's a live stream, affected na yung live super chatters mo. So as much as possible to avoid claims, it's very simple. To avoid claims, huwag mag-show ng kahit anong images na pwedeng maklaim ng ibang kumpanya. Huwag magpapatunog ng kahit anong audio na pwedeng maklaim ng ibang kumpanya. Some V8 users, just to uh, give you a reminder, because this is the most commonly used sound card, especially sa YouTubers na nasa Philippines. Some V8 sound card YouTubers, may mga buttons dyan na may tunog na kiniklaim ng ibang company. So either they created it, um, like, uh, I'm not sure if it's a song, pero na nangyari na to sa isang test live stream namin, na trinay namin bawat button, tas nag-trigger siya ng, uh, ng copyright claim. Okay. Then we figured it out. Yeah, so, as much as possible, if you wanna avoid it, just use Filipino background music, like yung budots. Yun talaga siya, walang magkiklaim ng budots dahil walang may-ari ng budots. It's a generic song uh, created by Filipinos. No company, not even Sony, have the right to claim that. So, for me, that's one of the safest way. Second, safest way, pwedeng i-download lahat ng audio sa audio library ng YouTube. Yun. Lahat ng audio oh. doon pwede niyong i-download. So, yung mga... Uh, Will Dasovich playlist, lahat ng video ni Will Dasovich, lahat ng tugtog niya doon, unless intended to play a song na hindi naman part ng audio library, is from audio library. Um, big YouTubers know what to do, how to prevent content uh, being claimed. If you want audio, napakaraming song sa audio library, hindi kayo mauubusan doon. Kahit anong music genre meron doon, mapa rock, hip-hop, kahit ballad, or even senti mode meron din so, so it's only background music. Yes, yung NCS natin na channel. Right. Uh, and dami ko na nakita nito sa Pinoy Angel Group and daming NCS channels. Um, it's okay. NCS NCS songs. Marami kasi ng technique jan eh. So sa NCS, pwede ng copyrighted yung song, but they will allow you to use that copyrighted song. For what purpose? Kasi iya highlight mo sila on your description. So let's say, um, si Pino Angel is na siyang music provider. Tapos, NCS yung isang channel na gustong gamitin yung song niya. Si Pino Angel, ia-allow ia kanyang gamitin yung song niya, basta ilalagay mo sa description mo that this song is created by Pino Angel. So, automatic yun, automatic yun, ire-report sa kanya na may gumagamit ng song niya. Pero pag sinilip ni Pino Angel yung channel mo, na nasa description naman yung pangalan niya, pala, uh, pa, kakawalan niya yun. Hayaan niya na mag-go through without claim. Pero pag nakita niya na hindi mo sinunod yung rule na dapat nandun siya sa description mo, dun kanya niya i-claim. So, NCS, you should play smart about it. 
Kasi maraming iba na basta lang nagda-download ng song from YouTube na nakalagay NCS but not reading the whole description na dapat pala may ganito pang tag sa baba, na dapat pala may ganito pang description. Um, if, if you wanna play smart about it, mag-check kayo ng napakalalaking mga NCS channel, mga nasa 2.5 million and above. I can't name drop any of them because uh, napaka-generic ng channels na yun and most of them are from India. So if if you wanna check them out, tingnan nyo kung paano yung format nila ng titles, description, and most importantly, tags. Kasi yung mga magagaling mag-tags, NCS pa lang yung na-type ninyo, sila na agad yung unang result na lalabas. Okay, lahat. Ito ang pinaka-very, very, very, very last question. Um, uh, ano po ba yung booster? For example po tayo, is, ngayon is 442 people. Are they legit? Are they legit? Paano po malalaman na legit nila? <laughs> Mar maraming beses na namin ito napag-usapan. Actually, I was even asking Pinoy Angel about this. Um, boosters are a system or an application. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a system or an application for, for either a desktop or a laptop or some of them are Android applications uh, na ang gine-generate lang nito ay maraming views. So, I wanna tell you something. Nakapaglagas na kami ng 953, sorry, check ko lang, confirm ko, 953 booster application all over the world. And yung booster applications na yon may still, okay, hindi ko sinasabing hindi na siya literal gagana, may still work on your on your YouTube channels. Kaagat at kaagat yung views, pero hindi yung watch time. Kung lulusot man yung watch time, don't expect that it will stay long. Kasi darating at darating yung time. Um, let me give you an example. I won't name drop the channel, pero napag-usapan namin ito nung nanood ako ng isang live stream. Uh, nagtanong din sila doon na bigla daw nalagasan ng 1,200-ish watch hours yung isang channel. Though monetizing na siya, pero active yung nangyayari. Nabawasan daw ng 1,200-ish and roughly 600 um, subs yung channel. And nung binaprak namin siya, chinek namin, we, we conducted an investigation. It was six months ago. It was six months ago yung, yung transaction na yun. So it was six months ago watch hours na retroactively siningil siya ngayon. If you know what I'm trying to say. So yung mga ninjas six months ago at yung mga watch hours six months ago, siningil siya ngayon. So technically, dun, na, dun siya nagkaroon ng negative 600 uh, subs in, in three days. Ganun yung nangyari sa kanya. Um, na, Nakakaawa, pero again, as we already know, There's a boundary that you cannot cross, and everybody can grow a channel without even doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm purely saying na walang kahit anong hokus pokus ang India or other countries that they can grow channels without using boosters. Meron, may gumagamit sa ibang bansa. India, may gumagamit sa India ng boosters. Pero yung mga alam namin literal na malalaking channels, not even attempting to use it. Because they know They, ha they have a big channel, and the bigger their channel is, the bigger the risk of them losing it. Every day counts para sa kanila. Bawat araw na mamamatay ang monetization nila is malaking pera ang mawawala sa kanila. More than what their boosters can generate. So that's why they're not even trying to use it. Sir Sedi, ito na po. Last na talaga to. Ano, Sige ano po. Na, tayo. Um, Sir Sedi King from the, the Game TV channel. Uh, can you explain the CGP spam and deceptive practices under incentive ad no split ako under incentive station spam and ang how can you no split ang gandang ano nito ang gandang uh, question nito kasi uh, spam in general okay para hindi tayo masyado mahirapan spam in general or deceptive deceptive uh, deceptive practice nandun to sa report so yung, yung nagtatanong nito probably naka-receive ng report na ni-report siya na nagsuspam siya or nagkaroon siya ng deceptive practice dun sa uh, isa sa mga live stream niya or video niya ang ginagawa nito is if it's gonna be correlated to paangat program or sub to sub yun pa rin siya sub to sub If you're creating a video encouraging people to just sub to you so you can sub back at them and then that's it. No relationship in between, no relationship after, no viewing of any videos afterwards. That's basically uh, deceptive practice, not just for you, for that viewers, 
but also for the other viewers na pwedeng makatrap by at makita yung video na yun. Um, if you really wanna push this, yung, yung ganitong klaseng conversation, it, it, it's gonna take us at least 30 minutes to an hour para madig down natin to. But to easily prevent it, um, what Wag na tayong maging overthinker when it comes to our title. Making friends is already enough. I've already seen a lot of channels using making friends and Filipinos can easily understand that. If you're making friends, it's one of the safest titling na, that I can think of when it comes to paangat. And wala pa akong na-take down na having that kind of title. Okay, that's already a giveaway. Wala pa akong na-take down oh, na ganun yung, yung title. Okay, because it's it's generally speaking just making oh, friends, making enemies. <laughs> Pwede din. Uh, paramihan ng ano, paramihan ng thumbs down. Yun yung mga yari, paramihan ng dislike. Sa unang sa araw, bakit hindi pa nag start yung ang live stream meron ng mga ano, I think na And na na mga thumbs down, na pura naging zero. Hindi ko alam bakit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, sige po, maraming reason bakit nang wala yung thumbs down na yun, probably it was retracted by the system. Because again, nabanggit ko na to kanina, if you're gonna have a thumbs down before even watching the video, I think that's something personal but rather, you know, it's not... It's not because of the quality of the video. It's not because of the type of content that was shown. It's it's something personal from one channel to another. If it, even if it's gonna be sixty-five thousand thumbs down, katulad ng Kim Chu video with Wish One O Seven Five, it's Which, not gonna hurt your channel directly. It's not gonna hurt your channel. Because the only people who's not gonna see your video are those people who hit thumbs down. Sila lang yung hindi marerecommendan ng video mo. Now, if your video will be correlated to, uh, how do I say this, to other makeup videos, tapos uh, ang video, ako, nanonood ako ng makeup video, tapos yung isang kaibigan ko nanonood ng makeup video, tinums down ka niya, it doesn't mean hindi ka na rin marerecommend sa akin because I'm still watching videos related to your contents. Ang panglaban sa thumbs down is proper tagging. Kung malupit ka mag-tags, walang kwenta yung thumbs down. Wow, oh, kapitig kayo, kailangan ka lang natin Gusto nyo patrace yung thumbs down nyo, kontra si boss Seth with the right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. No money involved, no money involved. Yes, and guys, malamot na malamot na Mr. Selling. May isang viewer tayo. Na, ano, may isang viewer tayo na talagang uh, tinatanong niya yung channel niya kanina pa dahil magmula pa 2011 yung kanyang uh, channel, mm -hmm. si Jules Work po ito, ngayon lang siya naging active 2 months na po ito sabi niya, my account is from 2011, just more than 2 months ago, now I'm hitting almost 4k this time, sabi niya Will it be complicated? Yet, I have 24 countries in my analytics geography. Hindi po. Wala po yung magiging problema. From day one ng two months nyo, dun lang magsa-start yung 12-month period nyo. Ayun. So, ibig sabihin po yung 2011 pa siya na naka-open ng kanyang YouTube, okay lamang po yun. Opo. So, for example, from 2011 to 2012, hindi niya na-hit yung watch hours niya. X na kagad yun. 2012 to 2013, X na kagad yun. Yearly, nawala na yung eligibility niya for monetization for those years only. So, kung sinimulan niya yung channel niya ulit, ngayong 2020 of uh, July, July 2020, whatever date that is specifically, dun lang siya magsa-start ulit ng 12-month period. Sana, sana naging gamuha ko si 
Daniel Matsunaga kaso yun pero wala na ako ng camera <laughs> Sino ka rin nang sumasabi nyo na um, yung pag may isang, pwede kami mag-pick ng isang winner for ano po ba ang kanyang pwede maging ano, benefit or ang kanyang pwede maging prize from you po? Um, again, uh, regarding the winner, I'll be selecting it sa upcoming live stream ko. Though wala pa akong specific date kung kailan siya. But the uh, qualifiers will be everyone as an audience dito sa live stream na to. Of course, automatically disqualified na yung mananalo ng laptop. Sana you will understand. Um, I, I am hoping I am hoping na yung, man, uh, yung mapipick ko will be someone na hindi pa monetized. If monetized naman, someone who's struggling to grow their channel, yung mga ganong klaseng bagay. Because um, the reward, the reward that I can give is not something uh, financially, hindi siya monetary reward, but rather a personal one-on-one -on -one support when it comes to growing your channel. Literal, nahihimayin natin yung channel mo from banners to tags to titles, description on how we can grow it. I will even, <laughs> I will even provide the applications that you can use if you're a mobile user i'll give you that uh, kind master um uh ano tawag dito? registered um application para walang watermarks if you're a streamer pwede rin everything that i can provide in terms of support to grow your channel and then we'll start from there probably every month magkapipili tayo na isang ganun it's gonna be a one month ex exclusive support and alam to ng parehong group na sinalihan ko um pinoy angels and jms uh group hindi ako nagpapapm so this person naman nanalo, eto lang yung magpipm sa akin directly. Kasi wow. yun, ako nagpapapipm. Uh, yun, so it's an exclusive support. Now, how to win? How to win? Yung, yung word mamaya na lalabas, yung magic word na ilalabas ni, uh, ni JM, that will be the code. I will select through a randomizer from my channel, not through a comment, but rather uh, I'm gonna use the time timestamp kung kailan siya. So pag lumabas siya mamaya, dun, o oh, pag nakompleto nyo na yung, uh, yung word na yun, I'll, I'll figure it out on how I can select it. Basta, it should be an audience of this live stream. So kung audience yes. mo ito at narinig mo ito, uh, yes. please share it to your co-youtubers para manalo din siya. Okay, at maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat. Tayo ay busog na busog sa information na at legit na information. Karin po kay Sir Seti King na talagang awesome. legit na magsasabi sa atin ano po ang, ang, ang nangyayari sa YouTube. Anyway, Sir Seti, thank you. Thank you very much again. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Congratulations in advance sa mananalo ng laptop. Congrats. Yay! Yeah. 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 naniniwala si Madam Joanna. <laughs> Sabi ko, ano ba yan? Ganun yan, no? Ano ba yan? Ano ba yan? Ano ba yan? Ano Hindi talaga ako nagtatanong sa kanya. So, nung na-monetize na ako, na Alex Gonzaga, na hindi siya pumapasok sa mga live stream. Yan po ay kinonfair mismo ni Alex Gonzaga. Ayan. So, so nasa ano po? Alex Gonzaga. Ayan. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rainbow 99. Shout out, shout out, shout out to lahat. And of course, hello to Ati Joanna, Ati Gigil, Kuizar, and Mr. Wade. And of course, sa lahat na nandyan sa baba, mega mega love shout out. And grabe no, um, ako din, na, na amazed din talaga ako kay Kuya Zeddy. Kahit, okay. kahit, uh, oh, kahit ka G si Kuya si Kuya Zeddy, pero iba talaga na he's talking and he's explaining the information. Kasi, di ba sa GC, nagchat-chat lang pag meron tayong mga queries. Pero, iba talaga if he's explaining and umakyat talaga siya. Kahit nag-off-cam siya, di ba? And alam ko na maraming na-amaze din sa kanya. So, Kuya Zeddy, big shout-out sa'yo, Kuya Zeddy. Ayan, shout-out, shout-out. And ito po ang kinanta ko during the tawag ng tanghalan last 2017. So, this song is entitled Price Tag. I hope you will enjoy. Okay. Token of mine. Moon hits. And me. Are you ready? Seems like 
everybody's got a price. I want to hardly sleep at night. When the sale comes first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and smile. Why is everybody so serious? Acting so dang mysterious. With the shades on your eyes and your heels so high that you can't even have a good time. Everybody loves to the best. Everybody look to the right Can you feel that? Yes, we're playing with love tonight It's not about the money, money, money We don't need your money, money, money We just wanna make the world dance Forget about the price tag Forget about the, uh, cha-ching, cha-ching Ain't about the, yeah We're playing, we're playing, wanna make the world dance Forget about the price tag we need to take it back in time When music made us all unite And it wasn't logos and video phones Am I the only one getting tired? Why is everybody so obsessed? Money can't buy us happiness Can we all slow down and enjoy right now? Guarantee we'll be feeling all right Everybody look to the left Everybody look to the right Can you feel that? We're playing with love tonight It's all about the money, money, money We don't need your money, money, money We just want to make the world dance Forget about the price tag Ain't about the uh, cha-ching, cha-ching Ain't about the, yeah We're playing, we're playing Want to make the world dance Forget about the price tag Take the price tag Take the cash back Just give me six strings and a half we keep the cars, we keep the garage And all I, is all I need to keep some guitars And guess what, in 30 seconds I'm leaving to Mars Cause we're leaving across, it's undefeatable odds It's like this, man, you can't put a price on them We keep the seat, it's in the sign of your feet Uh-uh, so we gon' keep everyone moving the beat So bring back the beat, and everybody sing It's not about the money, money, money We don't need your money, money, money We just wanna make the world dance Forget about the price tag Ain't about the, uh, cha-ching, cha-ching Ain't about the, yeah Ba-bling, ba-bling, wanna make the world dance Forget about the price tag Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh Forget about the price tag Thank you.